John Bergman here with uh, JohnBergman.com, helping you on how to flip the writing conference using Screencastify and Google Apps for Education. You see, I think there's a problem is we need to learn a simple, simple workflows to make these kinds of things happen. By the way, flipping a writing conference is where you're going to give individual feedback to students through a video and then get that video to that student individually. And so how do you do that? Well, if you are using Google Apps for Education, there's a very simple tool called Screencastify that can allow that. So the first step you need to do is to find the Screencastify app. So if you go to Screencastify.com, you can download the Screencastify app. What I would encourage you to do is to put it in the Chrome app and that's what I will use here in a moment. So I'm going to go back to a paper. So notice now I'm in a Google document. This is the Google, the Google document for the actual blog post that I wrote. And I want to mark this up and make comments about this as if the person who wrote this was a student of mine. So once I've installed the Screencastify app, it's going to appear in the upper right-hand corner here. I'm going to tap that little, it looks like a, you know, a film strip button. And now what I can do is I can just like click Start Recording. So I click Start Recording, and now that it's recording, um, I can now mark up the paper. You see, I'm now in my paper. I can toggle through. I can like look at this assignment, and I can make highlights, and I can highlight some text, and it kind of follows my marker, and I can say, all right, I have to enter some technological tools. You know, John, as you're writing this, maybe I'm going to make a comment about this. I can move up and down and make some quick comments. Um, over here in the corner, there's actually, you may not be able to see this, but there's the pause button. I can pause and stop. Um, but also notice that over here, I've got some drawing tools. Uh, I think the drawing tools can be quite powerful in that what you can do is you can underline text and circle that and make a comment. Now, I would recommend that if you have an opportunity, if you feel like you need um, the tool, um, I'm a fan of this Wacom tablet, which I talk about. So if you uh, want a way to draw on the screen, I think that's very important. So, you, you know, record, 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 um, whatever you want to say to the student. Um, I'd encourage that you use frequently push the pause button. And as you push the pause button, then you can read some and make a comment, read some, make a comment. I think that's a very good workflow to get it through. Once you're done with this, you simply stop the video this screen then simply appears and now here I have uh, my untitled screencast what I could do I would recommend that you call this I'll call it John's paper um, or whatever its appropriate name it's now there and frankly it's automatically uploaded to Google Drive. Now I set this up you may have to kind of set this whole thing up so that it goes automatically to your Google Drive. Here's the video right? And now that it's recording uh but now what I can do is I can go to my Google Drive. So let me go to my drive and I'll show you where it goes. In my drive, there's this folder called Screencastify. I click on Screencastify and there's John's paper. Now it's in a .web.m file. Don't, don't panic on that. That's viewable for kids. Now this does need to be shared. So I can right click on that and I can then just say share and I can share this with the particular student. Another thing you might think about in terms of the sharing that might not be a bad idea. So let's say I want to do this. I want to say create a new folder. You know, Mr. Bergman's class, if I could spell. And um, I've got this folder inside of the Screencastify app. What I might do is, is you could then share that folder. Does that make sense? I can share the entire folder. I can share this with, and now it's automatically shared. And what I could then do is I could just drag that John's paper into the Mr. Bergman's class. I can just drag it right in there. And you have to sort of think about this. Is that, Do you want this shared with all the students in, say, one class period? Or do you want to share this with each individual student? So you could have a, a folder for each student. It might be then easier just to type it in. But that way you don't have to like share every single time. You share the folder in one time and then they always have access to it. So the workflow is so crazy easy. So if you're looking for a simple way to uh, flip your writing conference with your students in a very simple way and your Google Apps for Education person, um, then I would recommend this. This has been John Bergman with johnbergman.com, encouraging you to um, learn more and flip your class.